be fine. Knowledge can mean a few things. The source of this knowledge is divine. It's coming from God. So even though it's a knowledge which human a human is receiving, it's not a human knowledge. Its source is not human. Its source is divine. It's a knowledge given to you in this specific sense. In a distorted sense, otherwise human knowledge is also given by God. But in this specific sense, that the actual knowledge is not attained by human through his or her own effort, but God has given it to him or her. So in, this is the first meaning of divine knowledge, that the source of knowledge is divine. Okay. It can also mean, divine knowledge can also mean it's knowledge about divine. What? about the ultimate reality. So that that's the second meaning of and obviously both these meanings can combine that the source of knowledge is God and God is providing us knowledge about himself and the ultimate reality. The reality beyond the reality, human reality or the reality we experience through human sources. Okay, so this is the second uh, meaning of uh, divine knowledge. And the third um, meaning of divine knowledge could be, and I suspect that at least Allah Mikbal is using it, at least partially in this sense, is that it's knowledge of ultimate reality, but this knowledge is human knowledge because it's attained through human actual human efforts so in that sense it's no different from other sources of human knowledge it's just that it's more extraordinary but it's not uh, different in kind from other human sources of knowledge it's extraordinary in the sense that it requires much more effort or it requires specific circumstances or it requires specific personalities Maybe. So that's the third uh, possible meaning of divine knowledge uh, with relation to religious experience. In these two senses, only two first two senses are Islamically sound uh, because revelation in Islamic sense is uh, something you might call supernatural. Extraordinary Exceptional Transcendent Which is qualitatively di different from human Knowledge and strictly speaking, it's not experience. It is perception A human being received this knowledge in that sense, passive to uh, extra extraordinary passive. The spirit comes to humans, and human lift upliftment is also divinely sanctioned and prepared. No human effort can, you know, reach that uh, station. Ilham, on the other hand, you know, human effort might be involved. So, in that sense, uh, Revelation is totally different from the at least third meaning. Uh, and we don't yet know Allah Mikbal is taking it in this third meaning, but my hunch is that at least partially, at least he's partially uh, aiming towards the third meaning. Anyway, let's go back. Uh, 